Hey everybody, Happy New Year. It's Swordfish and Azim. We're playing our Lights Out world. This is episode number two. Uh, we made it to day 12 in episode number one with only a little bit of dying plus reviving. Um, I am playing Wickerbottom. Uh, Swordfish is playing... Swordfish, I honestly can't remember who you were playing in this game. Who are you playing? Wartox. You're playing Wartox. That's right. Two interesting characters. Um, probably will have a good bit of sanity issues. Now, we just had a lovely day 11 full moon. That was really nice. Uh, we don't have that anymore. Um, I do have... Uh, a health bar because I did uh, a little bit of dying um, and I need some rot in order to be able to get back to max full max health um, and other things that are on my mind is which of Wickerbottom's books could be helpful here uh, gonna need some living logs birds of the world Oh, right. No, last episode in we order, got boggles. Yeah, in order to get living logs, I'm going to need feathers. I'm going to need feathers. Yes. We did get moggles. That was key and clutch. Um, and I think it's making me want to go try to find some catcoons because they can do things like spit up birds. We can get eggs. I need eggs. I need feathers. Let that fire go out. That was silly. Uh... All right, but we're, you know, all things considered, we're in okay shape. We have not explored a ton of the overworld. I have 13 spoiled light bulbs. That could turn to rot. I have 17. They will eventually turn to rot. I think I'm going to do a little exploring, a little mapping. I suggest you do the same. But, you know, I mean... Well, I've already mapped that direction all the way. Oh, you have? I guess I don't know it because I was in the caves for so long. Yeah. That's not great for me. I also know like part of the swamp. I know. Do you know where? Life. Do you know where a glomer or pig king is? Uh, I don't, but I suspect it might be on the other side of the swamp. The other side of the swamp. Yeah, I know nothing. Like, look at my look at how little map mm -hmm. I have here. I'm not even sure where the swamp is. Anyway, today we're gonna do a a short stream. We've got about an hour. Uh, maybe even uh, a little less, 50 minutes or so. And uh, we're just going to see what we can uh, get accomplished here. I think we both agree that Lights Out is a more, a little bit more stressful environment um, than uh, some of the other games. So short sessions, I think, are probably uh, right for us. And uh, we'll see how we do. I wouldn't be averse to finding a tentacle spike or something like that that would allow me potentially to... You want tentacle spots. Uh, tentacle spots for some books would be useful, but I was just thinking about a better weapon, honestly. Because yeah. I'm rocking a spear right now. What are you fighting with? Spear. Yeah, so there you go. Honestly, I think my main objective right now is going to be to get a bookcase because we can turn that into magic. We can turn that into all sorts of things. So I'm going to go through here. I definitely am going to need a lot of a lot of reeds. See if I can collect these without getting absolutely crushed by tentacles. There's one about to kill Chester. Chester, come to me. Okay, so this where I am is actually, is this a swamp or a mini swamp? There's cave entrance in the swamp. Um, am I in the swamp or am I in the mini swamp? Mini. Swamp is on the other side. Other side of what? You see where I just went through? No. Uh, no, you're not okay. on my mini swamp. I found the waste desert through the swamp. As well as triple tusks that face it looks like. 
Anyway, there's one volt goat herd, and those will be easy to kill now because it's nighttime permanently. It will be easy to harvest Volk Oats. That is, that's, that's an advantage of Lights Out, now that you mention it. Okay, I did get a bunch of... Huh, that's interesting. I did manage to get a bunch of... Uh, of reeds there. That was nice. Oh, bee queen. You probably knew where that was already. But busy fighting a terrible. Ooh, apicultural notes. That's powerful for wicker bottom. Nothing can really grow because no data. Bookcase, bookcase. It's all about the bookcase. I need the bookcase, which means I need what to find... <laughs> That's the one that lets me have a B armada. Or a fleet. That could be powerful. It would be very powerful. Um, I've seen some interesting boss fights with them. And of course with Bee Queen, you know, we could do the tentacle strategy too. I think definitely better than some of the other attempts. Okay, I have found a deciduous, probably the deciduous, which means if I find cat coons, there is real potential. Okay, triple tusk, uh, right by Oasis Desert. A triple mac, interesting. Probably useful. Okay, so... That's the other desert, that's Dragonfly Desert over here, and the stage is right on that. I've got a couple cat coons over here. Remind me, what do you do to get cat coons to spit up, you know, stuff? Do you feed them? Wait, what do you, what do you do? should I use the stage, like, for uh, a play? Uh, you could. I mean, you could get useful stuff. I think I'll try. All right, if you feed the cat coons, you, uh, like things like twigs, you can get a little bit of loyalty out of them and they will follow you. But really, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I want them to spit up useful Ouch. stuff. Dark petals and pine cones, not what I'm looking for. I need a bird, guys. So what do I do? Do I keep? Yeah, if I... If I feed them a twig, they will spit up something. The hound mounds are right next to the stage. Potato seeds, that's insane. Hound mounds are right next to the stage. A bird! A bird! Oh, it worked! Holy cow! I've got a winter bird! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, Cat Coon, I love you! Okay. That's, uh... That is perfect. It doesn't give me the feather I need for a feather pencil, but, um... But, wow. Uh, that was a win. Um, and I'm just trying to think about inventory management here. I'm not going to need you guys. Okay. Uh, maybe I can get a crow though, so I can get a feather for a feather pencil perhaps? Fine cone. Grass. Okay. I'm um, bending mission. All right, I have a bird, uh, which makes me, of course, want a bird cage. But I'm going for ooh, a red feather. No, I need a black feather. What? A, an electrical doodad. Now, the stuff they spit out is a little bananas, isn't it? What if I give you stale blue cap? Well, I'm next to the stage, so I was going to perform, but I was getting killed. Oh, you don't want that at all. Uh, hound mounds are right next to the stage, and what? I was getting killed. Well, I was you were getting perform. killed. I was okay. trying to perform, and I was getting killed. Yeah, that's not good. I'm going through a wormhole that's in the triple tusk. More dark petals. There's a wormhole in the triple tusk. If that leads to a nice place, that'd be cool. That could be interesting, yeah. It leads to rocky biome... 
And another electrical. Nope, gear. nope. Leads to meteor field. Great meteor field. That not a want, not a place where I want to base. No. I I mean I'm thinking cave base honestly. And just in terms of like where we would put the bird, where we would put most of the stuff. I could be crazy about that. That could be wrong. Actually, once we hit full moons, that could be very wrong. Tentacle spots. Boy, you could get some really useful stuff out of catcoons, can't you? And it's nice to have two of them right next to each other. Regular petals. Okay. You guys are great, except give me something I actually want. Ashes? What did you spit up? You did it off screen. I'm gonna run out of twigs because of these guys. Carrot seeds. Eat those. Did you... Hmm. I don't, maybe he didn't barf. I really shouldn't be doing this in Moggles either. Rocks. Don't need those. Eggplant seeds. So you can get random seeds from these guys, which is interesting to me. An interesting finding. I'm going to put this fire pit down because I'm obviously going to spend some real time here. Okay. Yeah, you should have chased <laughs> No, I I wanted to, you know, I let them I let them have it because I thought that would be easier. Another electrical doodad. Well, to the extent I want them, I've got three electrical doodads. It's a little crazy. All right, come into the light, guys. I'm going to have to go get more twigs soon, because you guys are eating me out of twig house and home. <coughs> Just give me the black bird. Or, you know, a crow feather. Only mm. seven is left until a morsel? Okay, I'll eat it. Yeah, and I am not actually doing winter preparations here. I'm just walking around trying to get feathers out of catcoons. A yellow feather. I can get everything except for the feather I actually need. Where's the other one? Where'd you go? I think that's a... Is that a durian seed or garlic? Yeah, it's a durian seed. Yep, spit it up. Another doodad. I'm rich in electrical doodads. Would it, is it possible that neither of you would eat? No, I had not discovered Bee Queen, actually. I may have overfed these guys. Yeah, they won't take any more. All right, I journey onward. Maybe I can find some others or, I don't know, give them a cool down or something. Oh, I got the rot. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I got the rot. That means... Two. Yeah, but in my particular case, it means... Ah, I need to get back to a science machine. Right. 
That's annoying. Ouch! Oh. You probably can't do the cat coon feeding project because they aggro you on site, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> Funny story. Funny story. Wah wah. Now they're still following me, these two. Let me try feeding them again now. Oh, he's just spitting up on his own. I have 13 nightmare fuel. Okay. Give me something. I mean, this is all good stuff. Niter, I, you know, everything they've split up has been helpful. It's just not the stuff that I want. It's not the one thing I want. Yes, I'm playing with the pumpkin. The pumpkins mod on that just grows random pumpkins in the deciduous. I like it. It breaks up the monotony of the deciduous biome a little bit. Essentially, like there's there's some interesting things, but there's not enough. I can't hear you. There's not enough spice in the deciduous biome. There's not enough spice. Yeah, there's not... I mean, it's just... I mean, there's things to do. It's an interesting biome, but... Eh, most of it is just kind of lame. Is it? Most of it. Okay, here's a couple more cat coons. Let's try these king. guys. Pig king. Birch nut trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pig yeah. houses. Oh, there's pig king. We missed him. Reeds. Well, pig king is is one thing that is a hundred percent useless to us because there is no way as far as i know to wake him up Did you just you already found pig king uh well i see you wandering around him yeah but had you already found him because i see no. i see trees planted uh when they kicked up a pine cone i would put in a tree a bat wing i'll eat that a fish well yeah okay All right, now I got I got four cat coons. Are they? Oh, they're fighting with each other. What? What? One of them killed. What? Okay, three them? of them. I don't know, not that I know of. You attacked one, then I come. did not attack one. Oh. Maybe one of them took something. Okay, three of them killed the fourth one, and then one of them stole the meat. Okay, now. Okay, it looks like when they lose loyalty, they go ape on the ones that are not loyal. And then they take all the stuff that they had. I'm coming in. Wow. Okay, now I'm down to one. <laughs> That's there's something. I'm basically wasting a whole Moggles on this Enterprise. Why? It's easier to see what's going on. Uh-oh. What? Well, I'm fighting Shadows and my helmet broke when I was fighting a Terrabeak. <clears throat> yeah. Split I'd like up. you to make me a new Moggles. Uh, I'd like you to make you a new Moggles. Mm -hmm. You lost your Moggles? No. Oh, sorry, a new football helmet. Oh, sure. There you go. All right. These catcoons produced a lot of good stuff, and most importantly, this winter bird. The snowbird. 
Um, What's good with the winter bird? Who I want to get into a... For sure want to get into a... Um, oh. Here's... It's a no idea. And a cat coon. But I want I need a blackbird or a black feather or I'm stuck until we can get pengals killed. I got a cat tail. You could give that to a cat for and they'd give you something if you found a new cat. So far giving them twigs seems to be the thing. All right, give this them this cat tail. Okay. Ah. Yes, it took that cattail. Okay, spit it out. Give me something Lucky good. Trap. A butterfly? We, <laughs> what? we got butterflies. That's the way to get it. That's how you get a butterfly. So you actually... Can't... There is a way to get butterfly oh. in Lights Out. I don't know what to do with this butter, though. Do you want this butter? Uh, yes. Okay. Here's the butter. I mean, it'll only heal me 20, but that's still a lot. I've been losing health. That was funny. It's so... That was unexpected. Uh, so, I, yeah, I totally learned something new there. Well, oh, cat. Feed the cat. What cat? There's the cat. Where? Up. Or this direction. All right, you watch the fire. I'll... I'll tend to the cat. Oh, there's two. Okay. That's so you could have a flower farm. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, one of them just assaulted the other hard. Now I've got four meat. Could turn those into ham bats. What'd you say? You could what? You'd have to have a bug net at the ready if you wanted to actually silk. catch a... Yeah, I've got a couple silks off of those guys. Oh, uh, yeah, you could have a flower farm, though. It's possible. Yeah. All right, I feel like... Is there a, a cave entrance here? I feel like I want to go down to the caves. Um, and There is a cave entrance in the deciduous, but it's pretty far back. On the way, there's more yeah, cat kittens. On the way, there's more cat kittens that you can feed. Yeah. I suggest you feed them. Yeah. I need to ref refresh my light bulbs. Okay, okay. Watch out. I need to refresh my light bulbs for my hat. Fluffy seeds. Potatoes. Go down here and get back to the science machine. Hopefully we come out somewhere near it. Ginger pig. Did not expect to get a butterfly coughed up. I'd need some seeds. Uh, I shouldn't have been eating those seeds. I should have saved them. Okay, so I think I do need to find a couple more seeds. You found the Krampus sack? Oh, wait, there's a wormhole the, here. The loot stash? There's a wormhole. Okay, you go through the wormhole, see where it goes. Oh, it's going to turn this in. Well, you're... you're oh, welcome, so. Ooh, silky magma. <laughs> weird. Where'd you end up? Death mission. Where did you end up? On a, like, spider nest in the middle of a spider nest. Okay. I ended up in the middle of a two-tier two -tier spider nest. So not a good one, then. No. Well, it's the spider rocky farm. <laughs> Worst. Okay. I'm going to save that seed because I just remembered, realized that I need seeds for that bird cage. Uh-oh. That's going to make me insane. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. And I... Now I have to fight. Okay. Oh, you're fighting for me. Thank you. I'm insane, too. Where'd that guy go?
Raccoon, give me something good. What are you trying to get at? Spit it out. Okay, I have two kinds of seeds. I don't know whether you need generic seeds or whether these seeds will count. That's the problem. Do you have a pickaxe already? Mm -hmm. Can you come and mine this guy? If you take my nightmare fuel, I will. What do you mean, take it? I, I, don't, I don't want to keep holding it. I don't have any inventory space. Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Ouch. By the cactus, do 20 health. Uh, oh, oh. One of the things that I don't like about Lights Out is fighting in such a closed area because of the light. That one's at 62 health. Okay. Oh, I kill that one. All right. Ah, third one. Ouch. You got it? I'm not insane, but it's still coming after me. I don't know why. Because you hit him. No, let me get him. Ah, okay. All right, I got him. How much health are you at? Uh, Watch out! Whoa. I'm not insane! I'm not insane. Why is these guys coming? I mean, I suppose it's nice, but like, where's Chester? Fired. No. Oh. Oh, okay. Jerk. All right, let's go. Yeah, down downstairs, please. There's a new one. All right. Hopefully Chester survives the bats. <laughs> DST fanatic, uh, how you doing? How did I get Moggles? Yes, we have visited the caves already and the outskirts of the ruins. Um, and what am I hoping to get from a cat coon? I need a crow feather or a live crow. I'm just going to pause for a second here, swordfish, and look at the map. I need a crow feather or a live crow because I am playing wicker bottom and I need it to make the bookcase, which would unlock a lot of powerful magic for us. Okay, so let's see. We put down, do you remember this swordfish? We actually put down a mini base in the Lunar Grotto. Yeah, that's where the base, the game. We're pretty far away, but if we head in this direction, maybe we'll be able to link up to it by going through the ruins. Yeah, should we try that? I think, we'll try that. And I, think okay. I lied to DST Fanatic when I said that we'd been, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. When I said we'd been to the outskirts of the ruins, I actually think we got a mini depth form attack. Yeah, we did. Which is how we got those uh, in blue mushrooms. The moggles. Okay. So let's let's just head this way and see if we can make our way there. DST Fanatic, thank you for uh, stopping by. How are you? Uh, I can tell by your name that you play uh, DST. Or what do you, you, what do you like, really to like to watch? DST. What do you like to play? What's your what's your jam? You haven't played Lights Out, but you heard a faster way to get a crow. I'll take it. What? This is our first time playing Lights Out, so we don't know anything. Uh, talk to me. What what do you do? How, what's a, what's the best way to get a crow? We were thinking we'd have to wait till winter and get them off pengals. Okay. So, Swordfish, let's be on the alert for... stuff to refuel the moggles, obviously. Mm -hmm. 56%. Okay, this looks kind of like a dead end. Maybe, maybe we needed to go back the other way. It's a triangle. I would love to know a faster way to get a crow. Oh, there's cave spiders. Oh, shoot. I have two uh, bad guys <laughs> on me, and I don't have a weapon currently. I do. 
Can you hit me one? Or give me one? I can hit them with a shovel. Which is not a great weapon. Alright, I'm taking care of the terror, but I'll leave like one hit. Yeah, one one shovel hit. Because <laughs> again, fighting with shovel. Wow. If I hit it again. Alright, terror beaks ready. Eric, come here. Whoops. Hit the terror beak? Uh -huh. Nope. Well, I can't hit it. Oh. Okay. How did it not die? Uh, I got it. I got it on the second hit. Because again, fighting with shovel. Seventeen. You punch for seventeen damage. Christian, no, you only punch for ten. Well, now I'm punching. You can use an axe. Yeah, give me a minute. I'll just make. I I can make a spear. I just need a minute to do it. All right. There's eight health on this guy. Okay, I got a spear. All right. Let me get Another this one too. In. Oh, there's blue mushrooms. How much health are you at? Uh, 74. But I, I am wearing armor. Some souls. Okay. DST Fanatic says, you place a bird trap on the ground, move two screens away, there's a 50% chance to get a bird during night. Really? Uh, I did not know that. That's very useful information. Thank you for sharing that. Uh... Right. We will try that. Still quite a far way away, so let's make haste. I like that. I, I think that's a great tip. Where'd you uh, encounter that one? I haven't heard that one before. Oh. Okay, I'm seeing... Yeah, this looks like a good piece. Swamp, I'm seeing. Guano. I'm seeing the Guano Caves and Underground Swamp. Well, we're headed in the right direction. Uh-oh. It's Face Warren and there's a... Uh... You saw it while Jazzy was playing Lights Out. That's a good... That's a good... Uh, that's a good model. There is a Fisher. I've learned a lot of good stuff watching him. Fisher. 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 Gotta go. Oh, there's rope. There's a rope set face. I'm just following you on the mini-map. Fish. Swordfish. Okay, I'm insane again. Better keep moving now. Found it, found it, found it, found it. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. Oh nice. my god, there's so many fishers around. I just gotta run. Just gotta run. Just gotta run here. I can get you. If you get over here, I can help you. I'm coming in your direction. I'm basically just fleeing one step ahead of all the bats. Here. Trying not to get bit. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. There you go. Now insane. But All right. I'm okay with fighting these guys here where there's light. So DST fanatic, what uh, when you do play, what what do you play? Who's uh, who's your who's your character? Who's, who do you like? How long you been playing? Let me get this guy. I need sanity. Well, we both need the sanity. Oh, Terabeek. Oh, I got so many souls from the bats. Nice. I can heal us. Okay. Oh, just need some light. Hey, no. Oh, there's two of them. No, yeah, I see it. I see it. Now they're both for you. How did that happen? Because I went unseen. There's a third, a third shadow coming. It might be a uh, crawling. It is crawling. All right, killed, killed it. Fourth one, or a third one now, because they killed one. I got this one one hit. I have one that's one hit. This guy's taking forever. 
Hang on. There, I got you. Here, go, go, go. Kill him. He has two hits away. Magic. No, he's one hit. He's one hit. Okay. That okay. must have hurt. Got that one. Yeah, I'm at ten. That one's at one hit. If one. you would do some of that healing you were talking about. Thank you. Ah. It's, it sucks that they don't let you kill him anymore when you stop going insane. Uh, so I have 11. I need another football helmet. 11 what? I need another football helmet. Oh, sure. I'll gift you the rope. Okay, there you go. DST Fanatic says, I played DST a lot, just made a break from it during holidays. Play Wicker Bottom in your last world. Okay, so you could probably give me... Some nice tips. Oh, I'm not, there. We're almost a blue mushroom. Please. I'm not a hugely experienced. Yeah, I see it. Let's uh, let's head in that direction. I'm not a hugely experienced wicker bottom uh, player. I'm trying it for lights out for, I guess, obvious reasons. Um, and uh, I've seen a lot of you know good videos that suggest how powerful how powerful she can be uh, when you know what you're doing. Touch. Oh, grab Hutch. Where? Uh, oh, you got you had your moggles on. You know what I haven't seen? I haven't seen any light uh, flowers to refuel the moggles. But they have to be down here. Uh oh. Uh, this isn't the ruins. This is the orange mushroom? There's muddy. It's muddy by them, but well, that's this okay. Is, this this... toadstool. There's here's toadstool. Cool. This like, is the actual toadstool. The one that toadstool is in. Yeah. Okay, well, this gets back to uh, our little mini basey area. Yep. yep. Blue mushroom ahead. Blue mushroom ahead, indeed. Okay, so I'm just going to pop in. Ah, hello. Get, grab all the blue mushrooms. Yeah. Which face chest as a present? I need some uh, food when we get there. Well, I don't have much food, but these blue caps will give you 12.6. Yeah, and and eating them will be just fine when we're in the Lunar Grotto area. Yeah, plus... I can also go among the bunnies and get the rabbits. You can see where I've picked some before. Carrots? Pick carrots? No, picked... Uh, oh, there's a blue lot mushrooms. here. You know, blue mushrooms are always up. That's a nice thing. DST Fanatic says blue is great. We'll help you with sanity cooked restore 10 yeah uh for sure also we are headed towards the lunar grotto where even if where it... we won't get uh hit by sanity monsters even when we are insane because in fact the you know you it's kind of like opposite day in there only for sanity for sanity yes oh lots of mush gnomes here we at some point we should get ready to attack them for the living logs we need I have 18 blue mushrooms. There's a spot here where I cleared out a little area and put down... Ah, here it is. Put down a science machine. Okay, so first things first, I can get the booster shot. I just made signs like I'm getting cold because winter is approaching. All right, let's put a little fire on. Well, there are four days left. I'm gonna eat these blue mushrooms for health and for hunger, and I'm not worried about sanity at all. Okay, let's see if we can make a bird cage with the seeds we've got, or if we need to go get... Okay, unfortunately, you need generic seeds. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh shoot! I should have fed those to the bird. Now this bird is gonna die. Okay, I gotta. I'm gonna have to go up to the overworld. Just got here. I know. I know. I know. I'm not doing a great job here. What I will do is make some papyrus and stash it away. It's all right. I'm gonna go try and get some light bulbs. Oh, we already have some living logs. I see. All right, now these I will cook for sanity because if I have to go up to the overworld, I have to go up to the overworld. All right, so Hutch could be useful down here. So that's extra stuff. Oh, Hutch will definitely be. So should we make our base here? 
Um, I think uh, basing down is going to be really good in Lights Out because it means we can like start getting permanent light sources. Yeah. So, like, such, you know, yeah, so and so. In general, yes. Um, what I would say... Okay, let me... Let me just drop it. I'm off gonna have stuff. an avocado. Avocados from Mexico. Let's talk about thermal stones. Do we have any rocks? Uh, I put a ton of rocks in. Uh, I, I do have rocks, actually. Wait a minute. Uh, yes, I think I could make two thermals. Problem solved. Um... Okay, I'm leaving Hutch over here. We should get, you should get your site, your uh, station so that we can. Yeah, but again, I can't. I need a black feather. And I also need a way to keep the snowbird alive. Okay. Uh, thermal stones. Okay, there's one. There's two. All right, one for each of us. Okay, do we have silk? Because I could try... Uh, I don't have silk, so I can't try DST Fanatic's strat for getting the black bird. But I'm going to do... Uh, you know what? We just need spiders. It's easy to get silk. We have spiders. There are spiders all over, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to try... I'm trying to get a stone fruit bush. Because that could be good food. Nope. Just another avocado from Mexico. <laughs> avocado from something something. Oh. Okay. Avocado from roof of cave. You know, if there's a lunar grotto, that really makes me think that they should put a cave entrance. Hey, could you come help me with these guys by any chance? Because there's two of them. But, well, what I was thinking is, like, they should really, uh, in one update, they should, like, take, uh, put a cave entrance on the lunar biome, right? That would be cool. And, and it goes to the lunar grotto. So from the lunar grotto, you can access up. Because I feel like they're really just, like, similar, right? DST Fanatic says seeds are better to find from tumbleweeds. Chance is quite high. That's a good tip. I like that. Seeds from tumbleweeds. That would totally work. Um, oh, yeah. Do I know where the desert is? You know where the desert is, I think. I do. All right. Again, I could really use your help here. Oh, no. There's three. I'm just tanking these guys. Spiders have way too much health. You would use a trap. That's a good idea. Did not think about traps in advance. I counted on aid from my buddy who just showed up. And there's the two silk. How much is it for a trap? Four. Uh, four. Okay, so we need more. All right, but I don't have enough grass for a trap, unfortunately. I have plenty of grass. All right. Well, let's... Uh... There, hold on. DST Fanatic has showed up and uh, shown us the way. Yeah. How long have you been playing, uh, DST Fanatic? You seem to know a lot of good tips and tricks. What did you just do, Swordfish? Give me a trap. Oh, you gave me a trap. Okay. Well, that's one. All right. Now these guys, these guys respawn fast, but I guess not that fast. So let me take this and find another. There's one over here. I think I already, I think I just did yeah. this one. Nope, oh, over here, over here, over here. Oh, you just spawned two nests worth. You idiot. You, that's not on me, I don't think. Okay. Oh, there's a bunny. Trap Wait. idea works. We're too close to the bunnies. Too close for you. Not a problem for me. Oh, sh <laughs> you should be. Oh, sure. I've got a sanity problem though. Oh, no! Oh no! Okay, disaster! Disaster oh, yeah. is striking. I'm fleeing. I'm fleeing. I'm fleeing. 
<laughs> you tr you your help <laughs> dude your help okay, landed me your help landed me in such ridiculous hot water you're the one who spawned a nest after i said this one uh okay i remember it a little differently dst fanatic says way too many hours not proud of the number no do you be proud dst is fantastic oh why are you going away You're leaving me me I was I was fleeing. Well, You're still at 19 health. You only got one shot. All right, now we're I'm at zero sanity, but we're in the the thing. All right, that was. Did you happen to get any silk? I got two. I didn't. Ah. There's only three days left of autumn. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, go wait, silk here. Got a silk. Okay, and but we need four, for the for a trap, right? Yeah. Oh, all the bunnies are. Did you say you got one? I got a depth dweller. Give me a monster weight, and it was in the trap. Now there's tons of silk. You need to seed for the trap. Ah, thank you for giving me. I got one. I got another silk. Okay. The bunnies are now after me. Um. Two bunnies are here. Now. You should come back to into the lunar grotto. Meet me there. I need a seed for the trap. Okay, so if I go up and I find one seed, though, I'll I'll need two seeds for for a uh, bird cage eventually. Anything useful in hutch? No. no. Nothing in Hutch at all. I got stuck in one of those guys. Here. Okay. So, bird trap, we, we can do. In fact, have done. Don't have a seed to bait it with. I do have zero sanity. How do you increase your sanity down in the Lunar Grotto? What do you need to do? Oh, uh, doesn't chopping these lunar mush trees, if you eat them, doesn't, doesn't... Plus five sanity. That's yeah. it? Ugh. Okay. Well, no, plus ten for you. I, you know, for me. It's... Plus ten for me, right. Yeah. It takes forever to chop them down, well, because you have to keep backing you. off. What if you're near these guys? Here, chug them, chug them, chug them. Ready? DSD Fanatic says 15 sanity from here, the mush trees. Here, chug these, chug these. No, it's only ten. Uh... It is 10, yeah. Plus 10, okay. True, eat one now. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, no, oh. No, I can't sleep. It's Wicker Bottom does not sleep. All right. Okay, get me more. Watch out for those, they're gonna explode. You get like six to seven hits. I don't know why I'm carrying these around. Got you one. Watch out. Oh, got me on that one. I need the wood too, actually, so this is fine. Watch out. It doesn't do enough damage to hurt me. It does some damage. Okay, we are... Here, here, two more, two more. Oh, thank you. It does make me... Whoop. It makes me slow and groggy. So, Weird Bottom still gets the grogginess, but she will never fall asleep. I'm reaching respectable sanity levels. Okay, winter bird died. We have an azure feather for whatever that's worth, which is very little. This can stay down here. 
All right. Uh, Did I you get any more of those? Left. I want to. I kind of want to open my winter face dress, but first. I want to go upstairs before I lose track of what we're doing here. Um, God, yes. No. Okay, eighty-one sanity. That's enough. I'm gonna head uh, out into the main world. All right. Well, I see, and if, see if I can thermal. find some seeds to try this strat, and then you've left me a thermal. I do need to. Yeah, we do need to log out shortly. Um, and then we'll come back. We we'll come back later today and do some more. We'll play something. Where's the cave entrance? My winter face Where did this cave come up? Do you remember? No clue. All right. Well, here we go. Buy some bees. You're do, you're saying buy some bees. you're actually uh, logging out. I you're, to find you're logging out to open your yeah, gift and tell us what you got. Yes. So exciting. DST fanatic, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope to uh, see you again. Um, this is a kind of a super short stream for us today just while we're in the middle of some other stuff but you have given oh, us daily gift some amazing helpful tips come on winter's face chest i have two now i'm just walking around trying to find seeds can you find seeds without birds oh all right i got point Z leggings because if i can't then i definitely have to go to the uh um, claws uh profile icon that's 50. I will definitely have to go to the desert. Candy cane and sugar cookie. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't entirely listening to whatever you were just saying. It's okay. I didn't get anything great except for 50. All right. This one, candy cane. Oh, there's a desert, but that's the wrong desert. Baby Where's... plating leggings? It's nearby that desert. See the stage? Uh, yes. There's high mounds right next to it. Zoom in. You're saying that this look, over here... Look. There's how mounds. Can't you see it? Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. So Cal that's hey, the desert. Hey, hey. Calm down. Calm down. All right. You're saying that this is the dragonfly desert? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, of a fast way to get Festive them. stocking cap. That's a skin. Where is this skin? Where, do you know where this wormhole and goes? And jolly winter portrait. All right. Which you're wormhole? not You're not actually helping. No, I'm not, because you won't pay attention. I, you're just babbling about gifts. <laughs> I'm trying to play the game, man. That a wormhole? Yeah. I have no clue. DST fanatic, glad to hear. I'll join a chat later if I'm online. Awesome. Uh, look to see you again soon. That was a terrible wormhole. Oh my God. Yep. Wow. That's really bad. All right. Well, you've logged out. There's no point in me sitting around here. Uh, 